there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a comparison with two of the finest 9mm handguns in today's market. Over here we've got the CZ Shadow 2, the black and blue model, and over here we've got the Breda 92X Performance. Both have a 4.9 inch barrel, they're all steel frames, and they are double action, single action pistols. And both are incredible shooters. But all that comes at a cost. The 92X Performance has an MSRP of $1,499. The CZ Black and Blue model has an MSRP of $1,359. So they are very much expensive handguns. Here is the 92X Performance. I have a high admiration for this gun. I, I really love it. It's an incredible shooter. And the CZ Shadow 2 is matching up so well with the 92x performance that this will be an interesting review let's take a closer look at the case the cz comes in the standard hard case that is consistent with many of their pistols it does come with two 17 round magazines and a fiber optic post in there and flush fitting thumb safeties as well as the paperwork and other minor things that are added with Handguns. The 92X Performance comes in a large lockable case. You could travel with this. It is very well constructed. Made specific for this pistol, it comes with an additional grip that will fill the hand a little bit larger than the Vertec grip, as well as an additional magazine and speed loader and all the other paperwork. I really like this case, and over here you can see it's labeled Beretta. But let's take a look at the magazines. On the 92X Performance, it comes with two 15-round magazines. It will accept the larger capacity magazines from the M9 series, but it does ship with two magazines that have sight holes right on the back there. It's a good spot for looking to see how many rounds you have in your magazine. Now, the Shadow 2 comes with two 17-round magazines. Both are very well-built mags. The... Sight holes are on the right side of the magazine when inserted. You see that on the right side. But the magazines are great. It's just that the CZ Shadow 2 offers mags that carry two more rounds. The CZ 75 models have 18 round mags that will certainly fit with the Shadow 2. And the M9 we know have larger cap mags that will fit with the 92X Performance. So no big issue there, although I will give the case and what's included to the 92X Performance, and I'll give the magazine capacity the Shadow 2 because it, it offers an additional two rounds. Looking at the grip texturing with the 92X Performance, you can see a lot of work went into this machining to make that so nice. On the back strap and the front strap, mimics the same with some vertical serrations right there. It does come with a polymer grip. I showed you the other grip that comes in the case. It also has a frame mounted thumb safety, which steps away from the M9 series with the slide mounted thumb safety. But this is a vertical style grip. A little more vertical, a little thinner that Brett is using with many of their high-end pistols. The magazine release is nice. Nice deployment there. You don't have to change the grip angle at all. And we already talked about the magazines. Has a great feel with an extended beaver tail. And I, I think the ergos and the overall feel with the 92X performance is great. No complaints at all. With the Shadow 2, they use an aluminum grip. I think it looks beautiful. It too has very nice texturing on the back strap and the front strap. Mimics the same feel and a huge magazine release and nice deployment with this as well. You shouldn't have to change out the grip angle. It common theme here is an ambidextrous thumb safety with both frame mounted left-handed friendly and the ergos on this is equally as fine as the 92x performance i really cannot choose which one i would prefer they both work for their own specific platform
Looking at the slide with the CZ Shadow 2, you can see that it is very well machined. Beautifully done. Front serrations and rear serrations make it nice for the press checks. It does have serrations on top to cut down on the glare, a fiber optic front sight, and a height only adjustable rear sight. They call this a Hajo sight. It is black serrated. Uh, Hajo means height adjustment only. But you can adjust that if you choose. Now, I didn't touch this and it shot great right out of the case. A very good looking and performing pistol. I don't think anybody could argue with that. Looking at the slide with the 92X Performance, the serrations, they are calling sawtooth serrations. It is, uh, it does offer front and rear serrations here and a very nice charge of the slide. You can feel the spring's a little bit lighter with the 92X Performance, but it's cool they have front serrations. They don't have that with many of the M9 pistols. A fiber optic front sight, elevation and windage adjustments with the 92X Performance. It has the Brigadier slide where the barrel is exposed. It is a proven platform with many of the M9 models and many people love that. I certainly love it. I think it's cool. And the way the muzzle end looks is a bit different. If we check them out, already showed clear, both these have a different look to it. Both fiber optic front sight, both adjustable, albeit this is Wind offers windage as well. Both have a rail, although a full pick rail on the 92X Performance, as where it has an accessory rail with the CZ Shadow 2. The trigger action on the Breda 92X Performance is incredible. The single action I'm measuring right at four and a half pounds, a very short reset. Right there. Follow-up shots are incredible with this pistol. The double action is very smooth, very light. I would guess around nine pounds, eight or nine pounds with the double action pull. And that is amongst the smoothest trigger especially in double action, that I have ever experienced. The CZ Shadow 2 has a great trigger as well. The single action pull, I'm measuring lighter, right around three and a half, three and three quarters pounds, and a very short reset as well. At this point, I'm not ready to call which I feel is better. I think both perform outstanding for each specific handgun. Now the double action with the CZ Shadow 2 is just as fine as the 92X Performance. Both these have double action trigger pulls that are incredible for double action, single action handguns. Most double action handguns have a 12 plus pound trigger pull. I'm calling this eight or nine, same with the 92X Performance. I think each of these are amazing triggers and they work so well at the range. Let's go ahead and weigh these pistols. Here we have 16 rounds. We'll start there. Six and three quarters ounces. Here we have the CZ Shadow 2. 53 and 5 eighths ounces. And over here we have the 92X Performance. 55 and a quarter ounces. So a little bit heavier with the Beretta 92X Performance. To disassemble the 92X Performance is real easy. It has this pin back here, you're just going to push it forward, take this lever, move it downward, and off comes the slide, just like that. It has an uncaptured recoil spring, a all steel guide rod, and here is the 4.9 inch barrel. Pretty dirty. 
To disassemble the CZ Shadow 2, this pin needs to be pushed forward. You may notice I already did that for simplicity and it is partially removed. You're going to align the two marks from the slide and the frame and pull out that pin. At that point, the slide will release from the frame and here we have an uncaptured recoil spring, all steel guide rod, and once again, a 4.9 inch barrel. I've got five rounds loaded up, the CZ Shadow 2 and the Texas Star. How will I do? I have no clue, but let's try it. I guess I did okay. Or the Shadow 2 did okay, but that was a lot of fun. A couple points worth mentioning is that the CZ Shadow 2 uses barrel lugs. They fit in there nice and tight, keeps everything real firm when shooting, adds to accuracy. It also has full length frame rails. Now the 92X Performance does not have barrel lugs because there is no top to the barrel and does not use full length frame rails. However, there's also no pin to remove when disassembling. Some people, that bothers. You know, you have to remove a pin. You can't lose the pin. This is a simpler and easier disassemble process, but I like the idea of the barrel lugs with the Shadow 2. As we wind down this review, I want to give a close-up and some quick comparisons with both of these pistols. High end. Here we've got the CZ Shadow 2, very heavy steel frame, excellent trigger. You can see it does have the skeletonized hammer on there. A very well regarded pistol. A lot of people consider that one of the finest 9mm pistols ever made. And here we've got the 92X Performance, the Beretta. Just an amazing pistol. Also has a skeletonized hammer, incredible trigger, accuracy unmatched, both of these. And I think more people have experience with the Shadow 2, but this is worth a look. This is one fine pistol. I just, I think they're both great. So honored to have each of them. But at this point in time, I shot these side by side. I shot them individually. I cannot make a decision if I had to choose one. I wish I could, but when you shoot them side by side, they are both so accurate, so smooth. They both tame any bit of recoil the 9mm offers. They are amazing handguns. Sometimes I hit the target better with the Shadow 2. And right when I started thinking that I think I like this one more, I come back with the 92X Performance and I do just as well or I do better with a different, different series of shots. It's too early for me to make a decision. I will say that nobody would make a poor decision with either of these pistols. They are great shooting handguns. I have high admiration for both. And the Shadow 2 and the 92X Performance are amazing pistols. I plan to do more with them, but I have to say, at this point in time, they both feel great. They bo both fire extremely accurate. They're precise. They're smooth. They have their strengths and very few weaknesses. So I love them both. I cannot make a call at this time. Perhaps I will in the future, but the Bread and 92X Performance and the CC Shadow 2 are both excellent. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.